Hello everybody. No box break today, but I figured I'd do a mail day video. Uh, I haven't done a mail day video in quite a while. Um, I bought into a bunch of breaks last week with Cardsmith's breaks, and so it's, it's a little bit of a larger mail day, and I think I have a bunch of hit list packs because a bunch of the breaks I was in, I didn't end up getting hits on because they were random team ones, and that's okay. Not even sure what all is in here, but I can open it up and see what all I got. A bunch of them were from his collegiate bowl. Preview of Limited. So there should be some stuff from Limited in here. I think some contenders we did. Don't think we did any optic. Maybe a playbook was in here. Seams. Cut that carefully. Yeah, there's a bunch of hitless packs in here. So I'll have some packs to open here. Go along with it. There we go. Alright, so let's see what we got. So this one is some optic. So we got some inserts here. The sheriff. It's got a bunch of the sheriff ones. So I have the Colts in this. That one's numbered to 149. It's a blue parallel. This one's also numbered to 149 blue parallel and numbered out to 25 black parallel. T.Y. Hilton there. Number 22 of 25. That's cool. There's a Bengals limited football. I believe I did pretty well in it. I think there was a lot of Bengals hits in this one. So here's some of the base cards here. AJ Green, AJ Green, Andy Dalton base cards. They had a Tyler, no, Andy Dalton printing plate. Pretty sweet there. Cyan printing plate, one of one. Put that in a PC pile. The Andy Dalton. 59 to 99. And Andy Dalton 30 of 49 from that plate. So there's the plate. There's the card. Geno Atkins 99 game used jersey piece. And a pretty sweet card here. Tyler Boyd numbered to 299. Jersey patch auto there. Really nice looking. Very cool card. From Limited. Very cool. I really like the patch autos. And this is a prize that I won. So I did a bunch of giveaways to go along with the Collegiate Bowl and I won a 
Jared Goff signed Rookie of the Year Contenders Football card that he signed there at the Collegiate Bowl event. So it doesn't have the authentic autograph stamp or anything on it. He just signed the card for them to give away. So that's pretty cool right there. Let's see. Contenders half case. Gold, gold inks for Wentz, or Darren Lee and Hackenberg looks like for the Hackenberg Rookie of the Year. So there's what one of those cards looks like unsigned. And I got a variation of Sharon Peak, Justin Burris, and Jordan Jenkins autographs. Another Bengals. Limited football. Some more base. Jeremy Hill. Terrell Pryor. That's in the wrong one. I'll have to let Sam know about that if the guy wants that card. Because that was in the wrong pile. And another Tyler Boyd. I didn't realize I got two of those. Number 299. Jersey Auto. Didn't realize I had. I mean, you can go back and watch that. I didn't realize I had two Tyler Boyds. Let's see. This one doesn't have a hit list, so there's a hit in here. Looks like a Sammy Coates, maybe. This is a. Quad mixer that I got the Steelers in. So we did four boxes. Did optic. Did I don't need the space. <sighs> Contenders. Optic. And then there's a preferred. So there was a preferred box in there. And then I think a limited box also. So Optic, Contenders, Preferred, and Limited. And I got a Silhouette Jersey Auto of Sammy Coates, numbered to 99. Out of the Preferred box. So that's cool. Optic, Rookie Refractor there. Not a rookie. Sh yeah, rookie. Sean Davis, rookie. Um, that. And then all the rest of these have hit list packs in them, so let's see what I got. This one was a limited football break. Got a couple of Deshaun Jackson base cards. A numbered Jordan Reed out of 49. And a hit list pack, Donruss baseball. This one, I got a Mariota base card. This one, I got a preferred five box. Nothing at all. So there's another pack. This one was Derek Carr and Latavius Murray. And these are a little five box like half case that we did and the price to buy in was not that much so I did not have to pay too much for these number 99 Alshon Jeffrey but I was hoping you know there's something good some something random out of Packers I think this is a full Case. Yeah, this is a full case I bought the Packers in, and I got a bunch of base cards. Oh wait, there's a numbered Aaron Rodgers out of 99. Put that over there. A bunch of Packers cards are limited there. And last 
was an optic half caser. We got a Barry Sanders die cut, a Sean Robinson, Jake Rudock, Jake Rudock number to 199, orange, Amir Abdullah refractor. So not the best week for me for breaks, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hit list packs to do. So let's open some packs now. Let's see what we get. Chris Bryant. What is this? Test proof, number 14 of 49, Carlos Rodon, and Masters of the Game insert, and a Ricky Henderson throwback insert there. Sixty-one of ninety-nine black parallel. Throwback card there. Jacob Degrom, Miguel Sano rated rookie. Kendris Morales, Rizzo, Seager, Smallies, Don Mattingly, Spacer. Alina and a Mike Trout regular throwback. Chapman, Shield, Kinsler, Buster Posey, Omar Vizquel. There's a 310 career on base, Hector Oliveira. Number 21 out of 310. Insert there. Cool. And a Jersey Kings, Byron Buxton. Jersey card. Don't see any numbering on it anywhere. Player worn material. And an Owen Ryan throwback. Oh, there's an autograph. Mr. Posey throwback. Kyle Wal Waldrop, number to 199. 135 out of 199 rookie card autograph. That's pretty nice. Nice hit in there. And the hit last pack. San Diego chicken card. That's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, another autograph. Wow. Kirby Puckett throwback card and an Aaron Nola. Philadelphia non numbered autograph. Pretty sweet. Chris Davis, number to 199, parallel, a Power Alley 
Slay Bryce Harper card and a Brandon Crawford throwback card. So, what was that? Seven hitless packs, I said. And I got one, two, three hits. Plus, I would count. That's a pretty cool one, the test proof, but I would count that trout out of 99. That's pretty good as well. So, makes up for some of the hitless packs I got, or some of the hitless breaks I got there. And I didn't expect that many hits to come out of Donruss. So, that's cool. But I'll try to do some more mail days when I know I have a decent amount of stuff coming. I don't think I bought into too much this last week, um, but maybe I'll do another one. They usually come on Thursdays, so I'll try to get them taped and uploaded by the weekend. So thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think of mail day videos, if I should keep doing them or if I should just stick to the box breaks. But either way, thanks for watching and have a good one.